Welcome to my channel. If you're new, if you're returning, welcome back. So today we're doing some ranch cheddar chicken. I've already washed and seasoned the chicken with salt and pepper. And that is some ranch seasoning that I'm gonna be using. I'll say that's about a half a cup of some mayonnaise. Colby Jack cheese. You can use any cheese that you want. Panko breadcrumbs, garlic powder, and black pepper. So in the bowl I have two tablespoons of ranch seasoning, a tablespoon of garlic powder, and about a half a teaspoon of pepper. And just dump that all in there. And the recipe called for about a cup of cheese, so I'm just gonna do a couple of big handfuls and mix it all together. So here I got the chicken thighs that I'm using. You can use whatever you want with uh, chicken breasts or chicken tenders. And I'm just using a couple of tablespoons and smearing it on the chicken. And the cook times will be different for whichever piece of chicken that you use. Okay. Now just a little spoonful here. That's pretty much it for the chicken. And now we're gonna just put breadcrumbs on top. Okay, so I'm just gonna sprinkle the breadcrumbs on and I'm gonna try to do it lightly because these are not panko breadcrumbs. Okay, this is gonna go into a 400 degree oven and since it's chicken thighs, we're gonna cook it for about 20 minutes to 25 minutes until it reaches an internal temperature of 165. Okay, so I have probably about two cups of water in there and it's come up to the basket just about. So if I were to lift that up, you can see. So anyway, we're gonna come back down here. So we're gonna slide that and that automatically goes to pressure cook. So we're gonna do it for probably eight minutes. And we're gonna do a quick release because it's just potatoes. And then we're just gonna hit the start button. When you come back up here, you just wanna make sure it's on the ceiling and not venting. Okay, so I'm making some mashed potatoes and I've already mashed them up just a little bit. And I've got just a little bit of half of half, but I have some more whipping cream over here. So we're gonna put some of that in. So we're gonna dump just a little bit more of some milk in here, which I got heavy cream. And then we're gonna mash. And this is a little bit over a half a stick of butter. I'm gonna do it while it's hot. Put everything in there. And normally I do the stand mixer, but I just decided I'd go ahead and mash it by hand. And I'm using some anti no nos since ranch is in the chicken. That's anti no nos everything seasoning. It. And now you can add, if you want to go back and add the pepper or whatever seasonings you want, then you can do it on your own. So that's it for supper tonight. Now we're getting ready to make a plate. Here's my plate, and this is a delicious meal. I have made it a second time with 
the chicken thighs and of course the first time I made it with chicken breast it did take 30 to 35 minutes with the chicken breast and that is the plate that you see in the beginning of the video so uh, this is what we had uh, for supper this night and everybody enjoys this as well so give this one a try and I guarantee you're gonna like it and uh, yeah it's it's a winner it's a keeper so um, there's the chicken and the mashed potatoes were good as well yep they're very tasty and then I made the green beans so that's it for today's video and we'll see you guys on the next video so if you guys like this video please subscribe to the channel and like the video and comment below thank you